The Alaboud children are able to enjoy the cul-de-sac in front of their new home in Boise, Idaho, freedom inconceivable in their homeland of Syria. Can we have a ride, Osama? Since the family of seven arrived here in August 2016, four young couples from the Cathedral of the Rockies First United Methodist Church have been helping in practical and fun ways, taking them to area parks, attractions, and restaurants. We've learned so much about what's happening in the Middle East from a different perspective than broadcast news in the United States from actual people that grew up there. Um, and what we found is that they're just like us. I mean, they're just exactly the same people as we are. They just happen to live in a place where people are bombing each other right now. And we're very protective all of a sudden of these people that three, four weeks ago were strangers. And now they're our friends, and we have been working together and getting to know these other couples from our church that we didn't even really know very well. Zach Stuckey and his wife Annie welcomed the Alaboods into their home for 10 days to give them a break from two months in a local hotel. We uh, say to Zach and Annie, so thank you for him, and we ask Allah to God to give him every day hope. How are you? Cindy Tadeshi created the church's refugee assistance program in 2016. More than 100 volunteers help with move-ins, English tutoring, and mentoring. Boise has been a resettlement community since the 1970s. About 1,100 refugees arrive every year, only 10% from Syria. It's biblical that we welcome the stranger and that we receive people into our communities that are seeking refuge from war and persecution. In fact, Jesus and his family were refugees. And so when we put ourselves in their position, I think it, it isn't a political issue, it's a discipleship issue. The civil war in Syria began in the Alaboud's hometown of Dara'a in 2011. After surviving a year, they evacuated to Jordan. They passed more than three years of extensive security screening before being allowed to seek refuge in the U.S. If the uh, people in America has uh, bad thoughts at uh, the um, Muslims, we want to change this thought to uh, give him the true, the right, the right uh, um, beautiful idea I about the Muslims. Yeah. As a society, we have so much to offer, so much to share. Um, I don't think we can keep it to ourselves. Seeing these brave people from all walks of life and all places on the globe come here and just want to be a part of our community. I mean, they bring so many amazing gifts and talents. It's just going to enrich our society completely. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.